Morning, Marcus Conti reporting. So I want to do a little uh, muse today. There's no, I, I, it's it's 38 degrees in New York right now. It's very cold out, so I'm not going out there. Walking with my joystick. But uh, I want to, uh, I've been reading, I've been reading your comments. And uh, this is, this is how we advance the ball. I, like I said, I'm a, a fan of First Amendment, uh, you know, freedom of speech it's the collective right it's the collective conscious conscious that moves the ball forward and i think that what's happened is we've become subdivided into rabbit holes right? and we don't necessarily have the understanding of other or what's going on in that other rabbit hole and then when the two two rabbits stick their heads out of their collective hole they argue amongst each other so it's just a little, uh, I want to read this a comment from uh, from one of you guys, Nick Walsh, right? This is, this is a great comment. Just, just check it out. Marcus, your material is quite good in my opinion. If I were, if I might offer one small piece of advice, <laughs> fucking guys all offer me advice. Everything is fucking, that's all I do is you give me advice. Check this shit out. This is really good. I've worked in criminal justice for 35 years. You call out all these guys for lying. You call them liars. I can tell you for absolute certainty that pathologically these players are not lying in the traditional sense. A liar, a lie is when you know the truth and deliberately state an alternative narrative. What happens with pathological criminal with the pathological criminal is that they see things through their own lenses. Pathologists will tell us each of us see reality in a different way. These players you call liars are relating to a set of circumstances they perceive through their different lenses. You could put these guys on a lie detector and they would pass. Does that mean they tell the true account of facts? No. It means they believe what they are saying. Nothing more. So, player one, player two are not lying in the true sense. They are, they are manifesting pathological behavior that is congruent with genuine fact. So, I would call them pathological and therefore unreliable to convey realistic events. Complication, complicated explanation, but significant in the description of what's going on here. Now that's pretty powerful. I, as that's really, I mean, what what he, what what that says to me is that he and you're right, you're right, uh, Mr. Walsh. You, you're that sometimes we see we see the world through our own shit colored lenses, right? And we're we're in our, as I said before, we're in our respective rabbit holes, and the stories that we believe become our reality. I'll give you an example, right? There's a story. I don't want to get religious because I'm not a religious person. But there's a great story. The uh, Buddha tells the story, right? So the Buddha, as le who knows, nobody was there. But 2,500 years ago, the Buddha lives in a, in, a, in, a, uh, in a castle, right? And he's got all this privilege, right? It's like kind of like, you know, it's kind of like the, you know, the blacks think the whites have, you know, this kind of white privilege, right? But this was real privilege, right? And... So, so that's a, that's a rabbit hole. I just, I just identified a rabbit hole, right? So, but, but the Buddha, right? He's walking, right? He comes out of his, he lives in the, in the, uh, in the, in the, in the castle and he's protected from the world outside. He doesn't see disease. He doesn't see dying. He doesn't see starvation. He doesn't see poverty, right? Because he's, his father, the prince of whatever wants to keep him, in his little bubble so that he can become royalty, right? And so one day he ventures out into the real world and he sees a man dying and he, and he looks and he says, well, you know, what is death? Why is this, what is illness? And he's experiencing the other for the first time. And it's, and it's, it's very profound to him, right? Now, when the Buddha of 10 minutes ago was saying that death, what's that? I defy death, right? Because he, he probably believed it. But that's, that's, 
that there's there's value in that story. And I just want to play one clip. This is this is pretty cool. This is just this morning on fucking. October 2nd plan to be very They're talking about so courses. It's not even that we don't have to really ask whether or not they were doing this because they wanted to have the timing. It's literally in the email that Robert Mueller has. It's a red flag that says, hey, this is when we're going to drop this. We're going to do this right now. And we're going to make sure that Hillary looks weak and we're going to try to hurt her campaign. And you have someone who's now tied to Donald Trump sending these emails and, yeah. and knowing about this. And I mean, as a reporter, I remember going through these WikiLeaks dumps and, and reading all this stuff and thinking, wow, now they're really going to be in trouble because we did learn so much stuff some of the stuff was normal political banter but it looked so bad because we only got it from the hillary clinton side you know, uh, uh, this is like wheel of fortune we're looking at this big big wall and we're trying to figure out the sentence and we're seeing different letters in it and we're seeing you know we're seeing assange visit from you know probably according to the guardian with a meeting with them Manafort, and we're hearing about Corsi having conversations with roger stone about how they get this stuff but they all knew ahead of time about what the russian dump was going to look like the second dump from our friend at the embassy whatever yeah. the way they talk in dark arts uh we are getting a picture here that's starting to fill out uh, yeah i don't think it's we so the question to you yeah question of the hour let's hear it that's why we got it already. Oh, he's totally got it already. This isn't Wheel of Fortune. This is Wheel of Guys Who Can't Get Their Story Straight. And this is... Ah, no, this is... That's just a race. It's but no, but no, but this is, this is the kinds of emails and the kinds of evidence that makes prosecutors salivate when they see guys talking about their friend in the embassy and literally... You see, you see, like, talking in that language and talking is he lying? Are they... Is, is, uh, is Chris, whatever his name is, Hardball, Chris Hardball lying? Right? When he says... That uh, that Corsi is a dark art guy and 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 he's a he's a he's a liar and a conspiracy theorist and then the other guy says, well, doesn't Mueller have the evidence on him? And he says, of course, of course he does, right? See that it's it's a it's a we have to have empathy for these guys because, again, look if you if you want to know what happened in the 2016 election, these guys know what happened. But they, they see it through a shit-color lens because they work within a, a media organization that pays them for their opinion. And they're not allowed to deviate from the opinion. But if you want to know the facts, the real details, watch H.A. Goodman's early stuff from 2016. Now, you could say what you want about H.A. Goodman, but I mean the, the f when he rattles off the facts of you know, the, the, the Democratic... Uh, parties conspiracy against Bernie Sanders and not a theory an actual conspiracy where they were conspiring uh, to hatchet Bernie Sanders you listen to H.A. Goodman and the facts will are very clear so and you watch that clip and and you know Chris Hardball refuses to acknowledge in that is that it wasn't Stone and Corsi talking about you know talking about the the emails Right? It was the Bernie Sanders people, the, 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 the left side of the Democratic Party that got cheated. You can't forget that. Right? I know they, they want to they uh, 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 you know, mow over that fact, but the, the fact remains that, that the essence of the WikiLeaks was that the Democratic Party cheated on behalf of Hillary Clinton, right? That's what Podesta emails reveal that the Democrat, the DNC was not, uh, not uh, it wasn't impartial. They they favored one candidate, which is monumental in in American history, right? People thought they were getting a fair election and they weren't, and that's the real story of WikiLeaks. There's nothing illegal about a publisher publishing emails that were sent to him. There's nothing illegal about that, right? There's nothing. There's no Russians, they even confirm that, that, you know, you hear, again, Chris Hardball basing his, his, his uh, theory on a lie, which was, which is that Russia hacked the election without, hacked the emails without looking at any further evidence that, that it could have been Seth Rich, which Corsi has done extensive work on. So, Again, it's a smear. It's a smear campaign. Or if you look in our own little little world here, that <laughs> that I'm trying to set up, right, where people are actually for maybe some of you for the first time are actually having your comments heard and seen by others because all of these other commentators, right, that and I'm not patting myself on the back. It just seems obvious to me, right? Like it's like I got nothing to hide, right? 
is that when you let people speak, you, you come closer, you move the ball closer to the truth. And you also see the, the, the people coming out of separate rabbit holes and attacking each other, right? You know, and he's got all these, these, these uh, people in the, in the Jenny Moore kind of circle that I'm exposing, right? Attacking me vigorously. You're a fucking supporting the fucking pedophiles. How dare you support Bill Clinton, fucker, fucker, fucker. They're all cunt faces, right? They come on here. And they, and they attack me because I'm I'm not I don't have any opinion of any of that stuff. I have an opinion in the Jen Moore case of the facts that that there is no real there isn't there's only a theoretical connection between Bill Clinton boys being raped and the death of Jenny Moore. It's a it's a reach, right? And in the same breath, you can look at the clip I just played where people fail to they 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 refuse to look at the details. And then they make this this wild accusation that 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 Jerome Corsi is involved with with the Russians to hack the election, right? Fucking, I, you know what I mean? That's what they're trying to weave now. Mueller and 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 now you know what's his name? The other guy, fucking, all these names, all these conspiratorial names that Mueller is is allegedly rounding up for Russian conspiracy. Now they're trying to they're trying to drag Corsi the. I, what I see is just an innocent guy, right? They, Corsi's, Corsi and Stone's fundamental mis error, if there is an error, is that they tried to, they, they, they stretched their belief, their lie, a little bit too far by saying, oh, they have inside information to WikiLeaks. Now, Stone, Roger Stone, probably does have inside information to Trump because he was, he was, a, he was a Confederate. He was a guy communicating with Trump to kind of understand the populace, right? And Roger Stone helped him. But Corsi's, to, 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 to now, the media is now spinning Corsi as a Russian spy. And the point of it is that you have to have empathy for them, the media. You do, right? Because they believe it, right? The guys that I just played, they believe that story. They don't, they don't, they don't disbelieve uh, that, you know, they, they, they're not, they're not, because people on this channel, like, oh, yeah, oh, shill, he's a shill, oh, who's paying him, it's, it's the, oh, foul, you know, like, nobody's, for example, with me, I mean, again, when, it, because when the accusations are directed at you, you know the truth, right, it's for people to say that, that, for example, I'm a shill, because I don't, I don't agree with your opinion, so someone must be paying me for the opposite view, right? See, that's that's like that's psycho that's psychotic in a sense. It's it's pathological, as our friend in the beginning point pointed out. Is that is that you start to believe your own circle of circumstantial evidence, and you fail to com to 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 allow others to reflect, right? And it is it, it. I think censorship is the is the fundamental problem, right? That that's. I think that that's. We have a, a a mass media that's trying to suppress the people, and then when the people end up on YouTube or in a place where they could have a a a, a legitimate argument, you have people that rise in that muck, and then do that same censorship to people below them. They step on the people below them, you know, and censor out their opinion. You never get to the opinion. So, because I don't, again, I don't see any, I, I see no problem with with uh, people calling each other names and attacking each other. So long as it's not threats of violence and all that stuff, because that's, words can't hurt anybody. If words hurt you, hurt you. If I call you a cunt face, you old, old, old vagina, dusty vagina cunt face, uh, if the cunt face wants to come here and bash Conti, go ahead, I'm going to say it. Hey, fuck you, I don't care. You want to come on, on this channel and bash me and not get got, get bashed back? I've let it go for a while, you know? So you're having your fun now? I'm going to have my fun. So, right? If you don't like it, go fuck off, you know? <laughs> right? But if you want to stay and maybe learn something about yourself and, and why you're so bitter and why you're so, you know, distracted in your own mind, then you should stick around and contribute contribute you are contributing by showing your cunt face <laughs> you're, you're contributing right so uh so thanks for that uh for that comment and uh
I'll have more today. There's nothing. There's nothing else in the news right now. It's kind of boring. Marcus Conti reporting.